Hey everyone, welcome to Quasi Gaming. I'm Mike. I'm Isaiah. And today we're doing uh, our top 10 Diablo 4 updates. So we've kind of consolidated all the stuff we've seen so far, and uh, this is what we found. So, you know, Diablo 4 is on its way out, and one of the biggest talked about pieces is that there literally is no release date. Um, we don't know when it's actually going to be dropping for us all to play and have cool let's play like this again, but um, at least we do know that it's supposed to be coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> but not even coming. The weirdest thing about their update is they've said we're working on it, but it's their classic, it's not done till it's done, which oh, yeah. is a very Blizzard thing to say. They're Good like, bro. it'll be done when it's done. And it's not even on their upcoming releases, which is, I think, the most upsetting it's part. It's not, yeah. yeah. They have no concept of it, or at least are no. not sharing it, you know? Well, we're hoping that at least they'll listen to our w people's wish lists. Maybe they're just trying to gather a sense for, like, what we want. So Hear hopefully that, all this stuff is helpful. Yeah, listen, listen to, to our last Blizzard. video. Yeah. <laughs> listen to our previous video. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, so in some of the changes that are coming on the pipe, too, like our top two. Yes, we have... number two. Uh, no more ancient legendaries. Um, so ancient legendaries were a typical, you know, just like a another weapon or like a, a thing that you would add to your your character for more buffs, um, etc. But right do they now, mean, do they like, mean no primals? Is that no, what they mean? No, it's the actual ancient legendary itself. So um, like Whoa. ancient legendary would have been what the what color was that? It, it was just uh, orange. Uh, orange, yeah, yeah. Um, but they're changing it where. In, in difference, you know, you're adding like an affix to a legendary item. Oh. So the item itself, um, you know, is just going to be different or like a better stat on your gear. Um, it's going to be easier for you to kind of identify like the change that is occurring on the gear versus just kind of like a, you know, this thing is buffed by blah. Yeah. Um, now you're going to like know exactly what it is actually doing. I just hope it means less farming. Because <laughs> cause the current system was, let's say I needed a legendary bow, and it had to be the specific one, like Yang's Recursor, right. or whatever the bow is. Yeah. But I had to find that bow, and not only find it, but find it in ancient legendary status, and then possibly primal. And it oh, was like then... very hard and took forever, so if they're finding a way for me to not do that, I'm all for I'm it. All for it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. For our number three in terms of the Diablo updates coming down the pipe, um, we are going to be changing to more of an open world. Um, you know, think of, you know, The Witcher or, you know, WoW or anything that's just basically open world. Um, they're going to offer up um, that concept a bit more. So they kind of title it like everything is going to be bigger. <laughs> um, I wonder if they mean it's very sandboxy, like when you play Breath of the Wild and they're like, do it in whatever order. Like, I wonder if that's what they mean. If it's they're the... just like, here's the world, go save it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? Instead I wonder, like, yeah. Instead of being able to interact <clears throat> with things and it changes how you... Yeah, because open world, world can be like, different yeah. than, mm -hmm. like, sandbox, right? So... Well, they, they do say that they're going to have five five definitive regions that okay. are that have their own ba um, boundaries and such so that okay. means that obviously you're going to be moving between regions um they're going to sure. be introducing mounts and such to get between each of them okay um but i'm assuming that that probably means something to the effect of you know you're going to have to go around and explore each of those regions mm. and interact with them differently um okay. they may not be so sandboxy in that sense for yeah interesting so, okay. let's see. You're the researcher, so tell me. You tell me. Yeah, this is what I'm I'm gathering um, from what I'm looking at, you know, so, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll, I don't think it's going to be a sandboxy, but I think it's going to be a lot more a lot more entertaining, a less scripted. Um, you're going to have that idea of just kind of playing of however you play. Mm -hmm. Our top four uh, are world bosses. So, if you ever played... Um, well, pretty much any of the other like big games. What? Um, I don't know. I like to reference Champions Online for that okay. concept because I really liked how they implemented it, where you're just kind of walking along, and all of a sudden there's this huge boss. Um, is it a current. random location all the time? Uh, I remember Champions being yeah, like it was basically in like well, it's not random. It's but it's random esque. Like it's it's okay. in an area that it could could occur. Okay. Um, but that that the the. the um, where in that area it could change, yeah. Ooh. So, um, 
you would have these boss bosses drop or repair, and then you'd be able to kind of go. But then it was all all the people in that area or location would be notified, and then they would go and fight that boss. Oh, it would um, send a mass message. It's oh, kind of okay. like a notifier, so you'd be able to go and uh, interact with it and then fight. So mm. you get the benefit of somebody who, who is really decked out. Uh, you sure. can kind of like kill that boss really quickly, or okay. you know however long that could take so right i think that could be kind of fun yeah that'd be cool a- anything that acknowledges the fact that it's multiplayer like, <laughs> please yeah this is not a single player game so it makes sense that you'd have a boss that takes more than one person to defeat yeah yeah i i think it's a really cool addition yeah. personally like um it. our top five uh coming out there is the new classes so they've said that they're around or blizzard said there's around five new classes that are coming um three of them are confirmed which are the um the barbarian uh the sorceress and the druid mm-hmm. um so and then there's these other ones that were recently introduced was like the necromancer and then the there's this talk about like the paladin and then amazon okay. so um those aren't confirmed um but right. uh, what you're gonna see the big difference is, is that the barbarian is gonna have a four weapon slots um which is their bonus okay uh the sorceress will have about um a bonus to their aoe uh attacks okay um and they also have uh, a familiar or like a favorite so oh. kind of cool. um and then druids uh have an animal companion as well so it's um kind of cool and fun different kind of gameplay something that you can tell they're themselves. going back to diablo 2 even with the types of the classes they've chosen right. right these are all diablo 2 classes so i think that <laughs> kind of tells you about their direction they're like okay we heard you we heard you we were returning. gonna go back to what this was yeah yeah i think <clears throat> it's it's important to kind of understand what made the game good or why people have spent so many years playing this game uh, I would be you know, fascinated if they're going to retcon any story elements. Uh, like, all of a sudden, like, here's Deckard Cain. <laughs> like, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry he died. Yeah, was we, uh, uh, that was our bad. <laughs> <should not> have <laughs> uh, I don't think they'll go that far, but it is interesting that they're like, okay, we're going back to, like, this Diablo 2 classes at least. True, true. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the, Blizzard definitely <clears throat> understands the importance of classes, I would say, in other sure. games that they, they, they have. So maybe that idea uh, around giving people the diversity in play maybe is probably their main focus of why they are even reintroducing it right. but yeah i think obviously they recognize that the previous gameplay was way better so why not yeah, go back to that why you know fix the you know the non-broken wheel yeah uh or number six for the updates are is the pvp basically uh, you will have the opportunity to opt in so you don't have to always be pvp but there will be areas that are designated to this Mm. um that has been confirmed in terms of what is actually going to be happening for the pvp concept uh but again you would be opting in whether or not you want to take part in that so it's probably like is it like in world of warcraft where you can actually find the location if you go there do you know what i mean like there is a battlegrounds that you can like get to from town that you can like teleport but right. also, if you're walking through the world, you can find the location. Find that location. Right? So I would imagine it would be like a place in the world that for some reason you're fighting, mm-hmm. right? Like you say there's five regions and there's borders. Like sure. maybe you're fighting for the border. Like there's some the reason that something. you're fighting. Who knows, right? Yeah. It's interesting that you you don't have to, right? Because then yeah, you yeah. get into the case of like, I keep dying if I'm in this place. And yeah, it's exactly. horrible. Yeah. So I would get for like new players, you wouldn't want to be like, oh, everywhere is dangerous. And the game doesn't hate you in the way that Dark Souls hates you. <laughs> so that would be kind of nice because sometimes you just want to play Dark Souls and there's somebody who like enters your game and murders you and you're sitting there like, well, this game was hard enough. <laughs> yeah, and then you're <laughs> now this like... is happening to me. So that's kind of nice. That's true. I think it'd be, it'd be a nice change. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I was never a big PvP person. Well, a little bit, but mm. um, I never really liked the idea of just fighting other characters i didn't get any gear from them except for just bragging rights that i Mm. was able to take down like an x level blah 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 and yeah so number seven is um this concept of always online so it's moving to an online gameplay um versus and and let me explain the difference right so Yes, when you're playing the game right now, you are technically online. People are able to mm-hmm. jump in and out of the game. But the idea is that like you will actually be 
in an online experience and only to be able to play the game. So okay, you there won't be any offline aspect is what yeah. they're kind of getting at that you won't like right now you have like that private uh, offline experience yeah in Diablo uh, 2 there was a you could play single player offline and I think that was really just you could super mod the game that way mm-hmm. I think if you're not always attached to the like Battle.net server or the Blizzard server whatever you want to call their online server mm-hmm. you can like way adjust the game so like yeah you can cheat hardcore if you want yeah yeah (laughs) right you could do that but you can also manipulate the game and and make it different to you know sometimes there's like a cult following of where they change the game mechanics and you know that's interesting but Mm -hmm. i guess maybe part of why they want you online is if you're going to do world bosses and you're going to have all this pvp and all this stuff going on Mm -hmm. um then you want players to be connected to that randomness right you want them to see all of those things yeah i mean people can jump in and out of your game like that which adds to that randomness for you um Mm -hmm. i think that'd be really cool so coming in at number eight we have random dungeons dungeons have always been you know a bit repetitive in diablo and you know they're watch your mouth (laughs) which one which one okay (laughs) be clear (laughs) okay diablo (laughs) 3 okay uh all that repetitive nature probably got annoying to people and they've moved on to giving you a bit more randomization um and other what they call scarier monsters uh so who knows maybe we're gonna get the 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 feeling of you know you don't really know what's around the corner um and you're kind of going in blind which gives that like feeling of you're playing a different game each time yeah. uh, so that can, I think yeah. was the terrifying thing about Diablo 1 is is there were a lot of doors in the dungeons yeah. and I, it was very odd because you would open the door and every time you open the door you're like what will be there because it could be two like tiny tiny creatures or it could be like just a wave of like 20 of like the strongest yeah. enemy that could possibly spawn in that zone so it was you always every time you open the door you're like what's it gonna be am i am i safe am i gonna have to deal with a ton of stuff so yeah i i would want to see more of that because i think in in diablo 2 and, and 3 diablo 2 is pretty random but in diablo 3 you kind of know what's around the corner there's yeah. no surprise right yeah. so once you've seen the first kind of group of monsters you know exactly what's in the in the rest of the entire yeah. section and you right? know the, the whole... level of how they're going to attack you yeah so it doesn't you know change. every monster in that section as soon as you get to the one area so yeah it'd be cool if they could change that up more and, and think about more ways to what is the different random things that can happen to you and what info are we hiding from you and what are we telling you and yeah that'd be interesting yeah um in our number nine we have monetization Uh, It's mostly um, cosmetic changes uh, to your character. So, uh, you know, you'll be able to, you know, add a different experience to the game. Uh, You'll be able to, like, change up your your character look or, like, buy things and, like, add to your play. But um, it's, from what I understand, it's mostly a a cosmetic change. Um, It's, it's, you know, really just released. Yeah, it makes Um, sense. Like, that's how games do things now. They just... They're like, oh, you can buy this, you can buy that. Sure, if you want to spend money on, if you want to look just like Tyrael here, yeah. and you want to have those wings, and you're gonna pay them ten bucks for it, sure. Like yeah. it doesn't really matter. So, yeah, we get it, Blizzard. Like it's fine. Make your few extra dollars here. Right. You know, have a special hat. Some like, of them get pricey. I know they do. I know they do. And sometimes they actually make a charity event out of it. Like it's fine. So sometimes you have like a little pet in World of Warcraft, and you can only get it by donating to a certain amount to like you know certain hospital or whatever it is so it's sure it's fine like if it doesn't affect it's not pay to win Mm -hmm. um it's fine yeah like i'm kind of okay with it yeah Yeah. no hate it yeah yeah (laughs) and for final uh number 10 uh for the updates that are coming through for diablo 4 uh is the uh rune word uh changes so right now you have rune system in diablo 3 where as you're adding all your different skills that you'd like you're you're able to kind of buff them or change their abilities slightly with with runes um mm-hmm. and in fact like they're removing that completely it's completely gone mm-hmm. um it's going to be replaced um by a system where you spend uh points and skills to kind of improve them uh with some to like, improve the rune words certain... yeah so the idea is like the rune world being they're improved it's a, in each character class you know has their talent tree 
allows them to kind of like customize their build and through a new rune word <sighs> socketing system. Um, so oh. we were talking a bit how in Diablo 2, the, the rune word um, actually yeah, existed. Yeah, you would put... You would put the runes in in a specific sequence and get a massive buff. Mm -hmm. But they've changed the rune words now. I don't even know why they still call them runes at this point. Because it's so different than what it was. Just call it something different. Um, But anyways, they've called them runes again. And you get a a rune to activate the skill. And then you get a rune to trigger it, right? So you get two rune words, I guess. And you can maybe upgrade them. I don't know. It seems super early the way they're doing it. So... I don't get it yet, but we'll see. Runes are back. Runes are back. Yeah. That's kind of all the updated changes that are coming in through for Diablo 4. But if you have any ideas or like anything that you'd like to see too, you know, again, you can watch our wishlist video or even drop a comment here. Let us know what you think. Um, yeah. So yeah. Tell us what you think of these of these changes to Diablo 4, like the rune words and the PVP. Like, what are you excited about the most? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, bye everyone. We'll see you next time. Next time we're in Act Two. Look at us. We're in Act Two. We're getting there. Yeah, we're making it happen. Wicked. Okay. Bye, bye. everyone. Hey everyone. Thanks for watching. Check out our next video on the right. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Make sure to comment and subscribe.